Second Chronicles chapter 17 tells us about the reign of King Jehoshaphat in Jerusalem. He was a king that pleased the Lord, and the Lord was with him in his early days. He sent Levites throughout his kingdom. Verses 9 and 10 in that chapter tell us, And they taught in Judah, and had the book of the law of the Lord with them, and went about throughout all the cities of Judah, and taught the people. And the fear of the Lord fell upon all the kingdoms of the lands that were round about Judah, so that they made no war against Jehoshaphat. Seeing that God has commanded the church now to preach the gospel everywhere, Matthew 28, 19 and 20, or Mark 16, 15, and other passages, and seeing that he blessed the church with the favor of their neighbors when they did, 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, verses 6 through 19, is there any reason to believe that the church of the Lord today would not be in a better condition if the church today would go about preaching the word of the Lord everywhere? They did in the book of Acts, or did in the early days of the church and the generation of the apostles. The book of Acts tells us <clears throat> in chapter 4, for example, beginning in verse number 1, And as they spake unto the people, the priests and the captains of the temple and the Sadducees came upon them, and being grieved that they taught the people and preached through Jesus the resurrection from the dead. And they laid hands on them and put them in hold unto the next day. Howbeit, many of them which heard the word believed, and the number of the men was about 5,000. They preached against opposition, and people believed it. They kept on preaching, and people kept on believing. In chapter number 5, beginning at verse number 40, the Jewish council had again arrested the apostles, and they had a discussion what to do about them. And one suggested that they just beat them and let them go. And here's what the Bible says, beginning in Acts 5 and verse 40. And to him they agreed, and when they had called the apostles and beaten them, they commanded that they should not speak in the name of Jesus, and they let them go. And they departed from the presence of the council, rejoicing that they were counted worthy to suffer shame for his name. And daily in the temple and in every house, they ceased not to teach and to preach Jesus Christ. And in those days, the number of the disciples was multiplied. Chapter 6 and verse number 1. When they preached the gospel, even against opposition, people believed. People might believe on their own if we don't preach to them. They might find the Bible and believe it but they'll have a better chance if we'll just go out and preach. Let's not be afraid of opposition. Let's not be afraid of the unwillingness of the people to listen, but just do what God said and go out and preach the word everywhere. And surely he'll bless us.